Hey YouTube, it's Monique. Welcome back to my channel. Today I have a plan with me in my disbound planner and I'm always struggling as to what to say because it's not a happy planner, but you know, you know, it has a tool cover on it, but arc disc, you know, it's a little bit of everything. So whatever, but y'all understand what I'm trying to say. I got a plan with me. I'm going to be using this kit from Scribble Prints which is the February mystery kit from last year. So I didn't use it last year and I was just like, I don't know when I'm gonna use it. So I might as well use it now, you know, hello. Um, yeah, so I had scheduled to use it this, at, you know, at some point, and I know I keep saying this, but I need to show you guys how I store my kits and whatnot so you can understand what I'm saying. But I did haul this kit when I got it, so I'm just flipping through it. It's like a spring cleaning type of theme. And either people loved this kit or they hated it. I loved it, I thought it was cool. I thought it was pretty cute. Um, I am so into the idea of spring cleaning in the springtime because fun fact, the new year used to be in the spring and not in the dead of winter. Cause does that make any sense? Probably not, but yeah. These, this kit is an old format, so it has the date cover strips. So I'm not gonna be using that. I'm gonna be using some date covers that are individually cut just because I really just don't feel like slicing these up. Um, I used to do that back in the day when I was in my hourly, but I'm just not doing that today. You have your, yep. And I'm gonna be using some rose gold accents with this. So I think that that will work out well also. And then these are the glitter header add-ons that come with the ultimate kit. So yeah, really, really nice. I think this kit came with a die cut and a journaling card as well. So let's get into it. Um, where is my, this is how last week turned out. I was gonna already pull this out, but I don't need to. <laughs> This is how last week turned out. It's, I don't think I posted on Instagram yet. Um, by the time you guys see this, it will have been on Instagram. It was my birthday this past, well, yesterday. Today's Monday when I'm filming this. And I had a glorious birthday. Um, it actually started from Thursday. I was just like getting gifts and I went out to dinner with my husband and we had a great time. And then I had, um, a little like get together at my house and that was nice and small and intimate just like I like it so I loves it so much so we're gonna be planning and again I did the same thing let me get the papers for this week okay so now I have the correct pages so this is the week of March 18th through March 24th and I have my little side sheet which I use for the sidebar so let me take this out, just pull it out like so. These are very convenient now since I'm using the disbound and I'm using a size that's considered um, half junior size, which is eight and a half tall by five and a half wide just in case anybody was wondering. So now I am just going to jump right into planning and hopefully you guys can see and that's not too, I think that's okay. So now I'm just gonna cue that voiceover and get started. Okay, I am laying down the bottom washi and also I just wanna apologize really quickly if you guys can kinda hear other voices behind me. I am at work, but I am in the conference room and the walls are really thin. And honestly, I'm in a conference room that I can just kind of sit in where I don't have to make a reservation for. And I really just don't want to go find another one. Just kind of just because it is kind of crowded here today. So I just want to, um, you know, just plop in here, try to get this voiceover done and be done with it. Anyway, I don't know if you can notice, and I kind of see it on the video just a little tiny bit, but I did try to cut the bottom washi in half, and then I changed my mind. <laughs> so you might see a line through the washi. Yeah. 
I just, I wanted to cut it, but then I said, oh my gosh, it's a whole, it's a whole clothesline scene and it looked terrible when I cut it. Like it didn't even make sense. So I just put it down whole. And anybody noticed that? Well, as you can see, I did the double box scene between Wednesday and Thursday because I thought that made the most sense since my weekends are stacked. And then I just laid down the other four boxes accordingly. And then I put that spring cleaning box on the sidebar. But as you, are, you guys are going to see um, later on in the video, I am going to use other four boxes on the sidebar and just kind of fill up both sides, which I thought really looked nice. So here I'm just adding in the today headers and I just, you know, just color blocked here with the um, today headers, the work stickers, the to do's and so forth. Um, not every single thing, like when I went in to do each day, I didn't color block. I just, you know, try to put whatever, wherever, but just like for the headers, I try to stick with that little way of doing it. And I think the way that I am planning now, I kind of really do use up a lot of the stickers. So I don't think I'll be using like leftovers anymore. So whatever doesn't get used, I'm just going to toss pretty much because it's not much to keep around. Um, one of the things that I have learned um, just with dealing with stickers and all this stuff is just to not have so much. Just seriously try to use up as much as you can and then just let it go. Because that's how people have all this clutter. It's just like, just let it go. So that works for me. And yeah, so now I, I did the glitter header. So I did the glitter headers across. They're really pretty. And then I am doing the to-dos along the bottom. And I have really been sticking to this rhythm for the last three weeks, I think. I mean, will I ever put the full boxes in a different spot? Maybe. Maybe. But for right now, that's just how it's going to go for me. I mean, there could be a week where I'm just like, oh, I'm going to put them on the top or I'll put them on the bottom. I just haven't done it yet. So because I like the way it looks like this. So I'm and I'm such a creature of habit. Anyway, I did the work sticker. So now I'm just putting in the little house stickers from Libby and Co. Indicate I'll be working from home. And I've been doing that twice a week now. Instead of doing it three times a week. I went back to twice a week. So it still works fine. Um, I'm going to have some weeks coming up where I may be home all week. So we'll see. <laughs> but I'm really going to enjoy that when that comes. So here I added a um, appointment label. And I know that sticker is really hard to see because it's really light gray with white. But it's like a little open box and I went to the post office because I had to draw, I had to mail some stuff to my friend Erin because I'm over here de-stashing. So, and she bought some stuff for me. So that's what that's about. And then I forgot, oh shoot girl, you didn't put down three heart checklists. So that's what I'm doing now. So as you can see, I had to kind of jump back and forth and I'll do that with the date covers because I really forgot to put those on and I'm just like oh my gosh oh my gosh so if you hear me trying to speak up again I'm just trying to over talk the noise that is coming from the other room and I really hope this doesn't like come across on the um on the uh video too badly so and again I really was trying I, I filmed this on Monday but I was really trying to get this up sooner than Wednesday, but such is life, you know, such is life. So I'm back to Monday and I use the deco from the kit and it's a clothesline with some laundry on it. And then I use the fancy label to indicate laundry because I just thought that was cute. And besides, I'm like using up the deco from the kit doing that. And I really, really, really like doing that. <laughs> and then I had a call with AT&T on Monday. So I used the phone sticker I'm just trying to get equipment upgraded, etc. I used some of the pattern washi from the kit. And then I used that Hello Spring sticker for Wednesday. Because Wednesday, and that is today, is the first day of spring. And that's from Lexi Kylie. I used a quarter box at the bottom there to say I need to not eat after 10 o'clock. Basically start fasting. Because Thursday I have to do blood work. That foil bow sticker is from White Deer Stationery. I'll just use it to accent the box. So on that 
Thursday, I added an appointment label for the blood work, but then I stopped because I realized I didn't put my date covers on. I think I already told you guys that I forgot about that. So I'm putting those on, and I actually used, um, these are from Scribble Prints, but they're her neutral color that she used to do, like, was it the $3 Thursdays or whatever, a while ago. But she doesn't do that anymore because now she does, like, Wiggle It Wednesdays where she does, like, foil stuff. But when she wasn't doing foil, this is what she had. So I just used that in lieu of the date covers that came with this kit because they were still in that strip form, which I don't like. And I just, like I said, um, when I was showing you guys the kit, I just didn't feel like cutting it down. The date dots on there are rose gold and they are from Simply Watercolor Co. I've had those for years now. So I was just like, hey, let me use it. Seems like a good idea. I used a stethoscope from the little sampler just to use something so I can indicate that I'm going to get my blood work done. Finally, I used a little munchkin from Once More With Love to write down that I had a meeting and it got rescheduled. So I had actually slapped a reschedule sticker on there since I had filmed this video. So, but you guys won't see that part until you catch it on Instagram. And I have been really good at posting my spreads now on Instagram. So you guys will be able to see that stuff. And on Saturday, I have a uh, Sabbath service. So I use the, um, a half box there is one of the little glitter boxes and then a little logo for my church. And I'm just going to write in the scriptures that we will be going over on Saturday since we are back on track. And I think I had mentioned that we had gotten off track or whatever, but we're back on track. So I am super happy about that. So, um, let's see what else we got going on here. On Sunday, I have sewing class at church in the morning and I'm using a little, um, sewing machine icon from Libby and Co. So cute. And, um, then I'm going to take some Simply Gilded Washi just to make a little separation there. So I used the five millimeter and it's in a light pink with rose gold. Actually, I had just, did I just recently get this? Yes, I just recently got this. And um, can I just tell you guys that I was actually going to sell this because I thought that I had like a duplicate of it. I have no idea. No idea when I tell you guys that it wasn't a duplicate. I was like, I don't know. I need to pay attention to my stuff more often I have no idea anyway the full box that I use and I'm just loving this chartreuse color it's really pretty that is for um the next thing I need to do on Sunday which is a meetup with the BWWPC girl so that is going to be a lot of fun I just added that plan next week sticker to Friday because why not so I, that deco I put in that box is actually deco from the kit. So it's just a to-do list. And I figured why not? Then what I normally put there, I felt like that worked really, really well. So I was just like, it's going to work for me. Now I'm on the sidebar. The spring cleaning I had added there already. So I'm going to put in the this week. And then I'm going to use some of the glitter headers. Because since I don't use seven going across, I only really use five because of um since I'm using the middle row and the weekend is stacked so it's not going to go straight across I just you know use them for like washi strips and whatnot because if I used it like in my Erin Condren I wouldn't have seven to go across you feel you understand what I'm saying so I just try to use them up where I can I added in the YouTube header then the three heart checklist so that I can um track my videos and I'm just going to use a um, deco or a patterned washi strip I should say. I'm going to use that and then I am going to use a it's a clean sticker to head off my um, cleaning list. So that should be really cool. And then I got the I used the ombre heart checklist which came from the ombre, the ombre hearts sticker sheet. I don't know why I can't talk. It's like, hello, hello. 
anyway, then I'm just um, topping that off on the bottom there with the powder and washi and then put it in my habit tracker for my medicine. So I've been really, really good about keeping up with my medicine, which is good because it keeps everything going the way it's supposed to be going. So now I'm just filling in the clean list. All the things I need to get done this week and I have not touched that laundry room yet. So I am going to actually fill in that bottom piece with some washi. Um, not washi. Um, I'm going to fill in that bottom piece with a full box. But anyway, I use the taller full box of the Fashion Girl on the opposite side. I decided, you know what? I have to look at both sides of this thing. I want to make sure that I use it. So I said, let me decorate the other side as well. Now, what I did was that sticker right under that picture says Happy Meal. It really says Scribble Prince Happy Meal, but I cut the Scribble Prince part out because I really just needed something to say Happy Meal. And then I am going to add in the Happy Meal that I received this week. I thought that was a really good idea. And this way, if I ever wanted to look back on, hey, when did I get this? I can, you know, try to have like a ballpark idea of when I got something. So that stuff I already got this week. So that I put down. So Valia, Valia and Valia and Tuma, Scribble Prince and Clever Gal Crafts. I was so excited about my Clever Gal Crafts order because it was my booze. So I'm really happy about that. Then I added some more pattern washi there. The dinner's headers, and it is so funny. We're up to Wednesday, and every day I've had leftovers from the food I had for my birthday. So that's been really good because I didn't have to cook. I am adding in a half box on the bottom there, and I'm just a full box. I'm just going to cut it down. And I cutting it down, I didn't think took away from how the kit looks at all or how the box looked at all. So it's really, really nice. So now I'm just gathering the papers together and zooming out. So you guys can see how this looks in my planner. I'm absolutely loving, with a capital L, this planner. Um, I just didn't think I would love the disc. But I realized I didn't like the happy planner disc. But I like these. So guys, thank you so much for watching. Hope to see you in the next video. Bye.